Welcome to the second day of the Twisted League. I will be getting 100% favor in the Ashira's house or whatever it's called and I will put all the experience into magic. And this will be the last one. It was really fast and I got to 46 magic. The reason why I put it in magic is because I want to use magic for PVMing aka Slayer to get really good supplies and stuff like that. And I can get my runecrafting up with this anytime I want later on. Really wanted to buy a Staff of Fire, but it doesn't seem to ever be in stock, so I'm just going to uh, buy a Staff of Air, probably. But I will shake a couple of worlds. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's no Staff of Fire, and it probably has a pretty long respawn time, so I'll just buy a Staff of Air. It, it should be fine anyways. Probably not the best choice, but I bought 75 Chaos Runes for the 7k coins that I had. Uh, we will see in the future if I will be doing that, or if I'm just going to buy for Fire Strikes, aka Fire Runes and Mind Runes. Just passing by, I'm going to get my first assignment. Okay, 148 Banshees, that will be the Twisted Banshees, I think they're level 84. Just pickpocketing men, meanwhile shearing some sheep for 10 crafting, and then after I'll do flax to 22, so I can make the level 22 crafting mage armor that I have the fabric for at least one piece, I think, currently. I changed my position on the shearing the sheep, because you can do it just outside here, so that is 10 crafting. And extremely fast after that, I'm getting 22 crafting right here, and now I can make all of the pieces for the Serican robes. You can actually just tag these with one damage, and uh, the guards will kill them and you get the loot. So if you look at this, for example, I got the bones right there. So I'm going to try to get some fabric doing this, and hopefully I won't be too unlucky. Talking about being unlucky, uh, that is extremely lucky. I got the Xerix Talisman after maybe... Okay, so you get 0.1% favor for each kill and I'm 33. Uh, maybe 30, because I think I was at 30% already, so 30 kill count for the amulet. So I have the fabric to be able to make the body and the hat, I think. And here we go. So I only miss the bottoms now and I will go back for that later into the video, I'm pretty sure. So my plan is to go to Winter Todd pretty soon and get some supply crates and get some money from them and other supplies, but I don't really care for 99 fire making that much, uh, you can't really get a skill cape anyways in it, so I only really want the money for the magic gear because I want to focus mostly on PVMing on this account, but before that I'm going to go and do some thieving. Uh, I won't do all the way to 64 even though I want to unlock the lizard man chest just yet. So pretty much I'm just slowly going to work my way towards getting uh, to 64 thieving so I can do the chest later for some really good supplies and really fast thieving experience. But here we go, I unlocked my next relic and this one is like three times the normal amount of resources. You guys probably already know these and the arcane courier is also pretty neat, it's like teleporting your stuff already to your bank. But because I'm going to focus mostly on PVMing, I think the uh, unnatural selection is absolutely insane and that is definitely what I'm going to pick. Being able to pick specific Slayer monsters is just so good for the account and you know, there are some stuff like um, if I want to get rune limbs in the future, then picking dragons every time is going to be so good and uh, yeah, that's why I'm picking it pretty much. I couldn't really be arsed leveling smithing and mining to be able to make a steel axe, but at least I'm making an iron one, so that should be good enough. Okay, 50 fire making done on oak logs, it is definitely faster than willows because you cut the oaks so much faster and the experience is not too different, but let's go to winter Todd. Oh, and by the way, before you go there, always buy a house, you probably already know this, but otherwise you can't get the construction experience. And last thing before we go, I just have to dig up this thing because it's a warm item that I'll be needing as well for the Winter Todd. So getting 99 fire making at Winter Todd seems to be like 8-7 hours of doing it. I'm not going to go for 99 though, I only want to get some supply crates to get some money to start getting into PVMing, so... Okay, 80 fire making incoming and this is definitely where I'll stop. That is also going to give me quite a lot of league points uh, if I can actually just click on the task thing. Oh, maybe I have to remove this interface. Okay, uh, yeah, some decent points. The main reason to why I did Winter Thought is actually not for the 99, it's because I wanted money and supplies from the supply crate. So I'm actually going to stop now at 80 and I'm going to open all these and see what I get. Okay, so this is the loot that I got, 20 burnt pages and some other useful stuff, and then almost 30k coins. So with this, I'm actually going to try to kill some moss giants with magic spells. I'm going to buy some runes and get into it and hopefully get some good loot. 
Okay, so I bought 1,500 fire strikes, so this should be pretty good. I wanted to buy the staff of fire, but yeah, it's it's never in stock. I waited for like 20 minutes and I never got one, so I'll just stick with the staff of air. It's fine. As I'll be casting a lot of magic, I just thought I'll just make the last Serican or whatever it's called piece for 400 crafting experience. Let's put that on. Now we have the full set. So I actually just got the info that the next relic I would get would give me double experience and I would put that in combat because you can choose if you want it in different skills like uh, thieving, herb lore, agility and stuff like that or in combat. And I would definitely pick combat because that is what I want to focus on in this game mode mostly. And uh, I am pretty close to it, I mean fairly close to it. So I will actually try to do as many of these tasks as I can. By the way, this is the loot so far. I'm just burying these bones for some really good prayer experience. And also I can sell these maybe in the store for some money. Or I can just save them until 55 magic and I can alloc them for some good money. First thing I'll do is 60 thieving on master farmers. And I will do my best to bank all the seeds that I get. So I can use them after that to get 20 in farming. And then get 20 herb lore and so on. I want to get 20 in all the base stats for the easy points. Okay, here we go. 60 thieving incoming for some nice points. Let's get 20 in the other stats. So I want to get 20 fishing and I also want to get 40 cooking. So I will be buying the fly fishing rod right here from the fishmonger. Now that I'm sitting here farming my points for my next relic, I don't think I will actually be picking the combat one. It just seems way too inferior to the other ones. I mean, you can get one that gives you double experience in mining, fishing, woodcutting, hunter, thieving, farming, and runecrafting. The three last ones, or hunter for me, farming, and runecrafting being the strongest ones. That is definitely one that I will be picking because I will need hunter for catching imps and stuff like that. I will need farming for herbs uh, aka potions. Oh, I got the notification. And also runecrafting for the blood runes and stuff like that. So I will definitely be picking that one. Okay, that is uh, 40 cooking and 40 fishing. Easy completed. I'm going to do some farm runs now. Maybe get some runecrafting through the books in Archero's house. And maybe some mining and some smithing. We will see. <laughs> really not sure if this is the most efficient thing to do, but I only have a bronze pickaxe and I'll try to get 40 mining here. I'm not sure if that is going to be possible, but uh, I will try to do that and then also use all the iron ore that I get to get 40 smithing for 100 free points. So I got my 40 mining and I got roughly 100 iron bars from that and I'm going to try to get as close to 40 smithing as I can making iron knives. It's really hard to get ranged equipment here on Seiya as there's no ranged store so I think making iron knives is going to be really really good for my range levels. Could definitely not get 40 smithing but I got 34 smithing which is not that bad and I got a pretty good amount of knives almost 500 but because I'm not going to choose the combat relic I'm actually going to start doing some slayer now because I want to get 40 slayer as well for the points and killing some twisted banshees is going to be some good HP experience as well which could give me another f level 40 for 50 more points so should be good let's see how much slayer experience each kill is going to be. Gotta buy these first though, so I don't actually get destroyed. About to get my first Twisted Banshee kill, aka first Slayer kill on my entire account. Let's see the experience. 500 experience and the first drop is uh, Eye of Newt, which is, which is going to be pretty decent for Herb Lore, but you can actually buy them from a store, so not the best drop really, but... Yeah, that is a lot of experience, almost uh, one and a half level pretty much, but that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it, and in the next one I will try to do as much PvM as I can. I actually want to get into some clue scrolls if I can actually get some of them, and I want to get my Slayer up a beefy amount. So, thank you guys for watching. If you did like the video, please remember to leave a like, and if you want to see more of my content, then remember to subscribe. See you in the next one, guys. Take care.